Welcome back, beer tubers. Time to take a look at a very curious beer release from Stone, the latest in their QM series. This is Stone Ruination IPA, aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels for 16 months. So this is bottled in February. They have a lot more stats on these QM bottles on the back. Uh, they say the IBUs have dropped down from what they claim to be somewhere in the hundreds to 59, and it's only up a 0.1%, 7.8, which means wasn't probably the freshest uh, bourbon barrels, unlike some of the other beers which have picked up a huge amount of alcohol. So let's get this thing open. Okay, so I got this poured out. It's pretty hazy color. I mean, it looks pretty much like normal Rui. It's it's on the, the verge of a, a dark gold, almost into orange, but not quite orange. Pretty bright white head on there. Uh, let's get the aroma. Ooh, that's a lot different. Still getting the hop character, still getting a lot of uh, sweet orange, uh, bitter grapefruit, some pine in there as well. But there's malt coming through, there's a sweetness, uh, some, some caramel notes, uh, there's like a honey, a floral honey character. Yeah, maybe a touch of that bourbon hidden underneath, but um, it, it smells, yeah, it does smell like aged ruination, would, I would think would smell like. I've never had aged ruination. Yeah, maybe a touch of oak tannin in there as well. Uh, I have this, I do have this on the cooler side. I don't want to drink it like a stout temperature, even though it's barrel aged beer, but let's dig in. Cheers. Hmm, interesting. It's... It's definitely still pretty bitter, um, but then again, there's the oak that kind of dries it out in the back end along with the hops. So, hmm, it's not a huge uh, bourbon character to it, but it, it is adding a little bit of, there's definitely barrel character to it, I should say that. But um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. There's actually still quite a bit of hop character left after 16 months. So up front, you get a touch of the remains of that bitter blast that you typically would get in an IPA but it's much shorter and the big sweetness follows uh, a lot of sweet bread and uh, some nice caramel notes and then you, you start to get that whiskey character there's like this honey like a honey caramel uh, middle of the beer where you start to kind of get a, a nice light whiskey taste with like a little bit of alcohol but not that serious heat you would get in a normal whiskey so think something on the lighter end, maybe one of those recent honey whiskeys. I haven't had those. I kind of imagine that sort of character is what I get like midway through. And then on the finish, the hops sort of come back. I get like a tea-like hop character, which you, I, I get in a lot of aged beers where, where the hops have faded a lot. You get it's sort of this earthy tea-like character. Um, there is some pine though. There's some bitter grapefruit. And there's a lot of oak on the end as well. You're picking up those tannins that really dry out the beer after that big sweetness. As it warms, I do start to pick up more of that whiskey character. I, I think I did start drinking this too cold because I am picking up a little more of that, that, that bourbon character. Uh, they mentioned on the, the notes on the back um, that it has a uh, notes of walnut and almond and... I don't necessarily get those, maybe a little bit of almond. I, I get like a vanilla character. That's certainly coming out. And I can kind of see a little bit of, of like a nuttiness to it. Not a lot. Still plenty of uh, hop astringency. You know, that, that Columbus they use is definitely coming through uh, in the beer all these months later. So, I don't know. It's, um, I, I don't know what to think about this idea of putting a double IPA that's 100 IBUs into a bourbon barrel to age it for 16 months. Obviously IPAs were kind of developed for you know keeping beer, hops being a natural preservative. I understand that but this is like you know the new way of doing IPAs. We want them as fresh as possible especially with Stone doing the Enjoy by IPA where you know it's, you get a month before you know the, the expiration date so to speak on it. So I'm not sure what to think about this release. The beer itself is is fine like I can see why they released it it's not a bad beer um, but it, it's 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 okay it, it's it's like B minus I guess it, it's it's definitely above average but it's not 
It's not anything I'll probably buy a lot more of. I, well, maybe I might buy one more bottle just to see how it aged with even more time. Um, for some people, it might have a little too much oak tannin in the, in the back end of the beer. So it'd be nice to see that kind of mellow out. See where the hop kind of character goes, because that, that's still certainly present. So I might buy one more. It's not the, not the cheapest beer. You're probably looking at about you know, 15 bucks for a 500 milliliter. So it's really pricey stuff. Uh, we're checking out if you're curious, if you like my tasting notes. Um, see what a barrel aged IPA. I, I've been seeing other breweries doing barrel aged IPAs, and um, yeah, I don't know if I quite get them, but anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Till next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.